First of all, go to the Edexcel website and download the large data set. And you'll have a spreadsheet that looks like this with 17 tabs, one for information, one with the five UK centres for 1987 and five for 2015. Arrow across to see the other tabs, including the three overseas for 1987 and 2015. The information tab provides information about the data source and the 11 different weather types. You've got a map of the UK with the five centres, map of the world with the three overseas centres. Then add some colour to highlight. Select the Camborne tab. And in the bottom right hand corner, enlarge the type to 120% so it fills the screen. Then go to B7 and go and click on View, Freeze Panes, so that you can easily see the headings and the first column. Highlight the headings in colour for easy reference and then colour out the three columns that are qualitative data as opposed to quantitative. I don't expect to use these as often. So then I'm copying across my fifth row that I've done earlier just to number the different weather types to make sure I've got 11 there. And then you can complete that for the other 15 tabs. Now let's get familiar with the units of measure. So the gusts are measured in knots, humidity as a percentage, cloud in OKTAS. OK Visibility in decameters and pressure in hectopascals. And NGR stands for National Grid Reference. The 16th of October 1987 is highlighted as being the Great Storm, which some of us can remember. Finally, the last six tabs for the overseas centres, you've just got four weather types. <laughs>